What's going on guys, Eric here with driverlineup.com, World's Okay the Steering Wheel Holder as your host. It's gonna be a short one today. Uh, I just woke up, just got out of the shower. Remy is chilling with her bone. What's up, Remy? Chilling, waiting on mom to get back. Mom went uh, across the street to grab some Mexican food. <clears throat> I'm about to get back in the shower. But uh, I just wanna bring up two things today, I mean, it's a pretty slow day on YouTube. Pretty slow day everywhere. On everything. It's a slow day and it's a slow weekend and freight. We know a lot of drivers that are stranded without loads or being proposed absolute crap loads. By the way, it's very noisy because I'm idling right now. It's 109 degrees allegedly in Georgia, which is hot as hell. Um, so we're fortunate to have a load, but want it, there may be a big problem with this load. I'm not 100% certain. So we got this loaded cargo, Dodge City. It was late at night. You guys who know cargo, I've been there many times. You're very familiar with the process. It's actually not too bad. It's a paved lot. Um, you know, if the load's not ready, you can deadhead over to the Bobtail Parking at Love's. If the load's ready, you're kind of in and out of it. They got a washout on site. It's a great place. But what happened on, see, today's Sunday used to be Friday night, is uh, it was late at night. The individual, the, the gate shack um, dude came out, looks at the seal with me, then points at the seal number on the paperwork and matches. Then he pulls out the second seal because this has two stops, points at that number on the paperwork and matches. So there's two set, there's two bills, one set of bills for the 02, which is in Orlando, and one set of bills for the 90, which is in Jacksonville. So in both of those main sets of bills, it doesn't really say anything about which stop they are. I mean, I have those appointments in my dispatch, right? So it doesn't need to say them on the bills. There's a couple envelopes that have like manifest in them and the other seal. So when I did my depart shipper, um, <clears throat> you know, it wasn't everything looked looked good. Um, there was a uh, there was a uh, there is a a master bill that has everything on it, but I only glanced at that. Uh, briefly Friday night when I did my depart because and I only needed it to get my um, total weight and the total piece count because it's on that master bill so that's really the only thing I looked at it you know I didn't take a close look at it. I looked at the other two to make sure that each of those sets of bills matched uh, made sure that the addresses matched and everything right and that was the information that I was giving uh, prime dispatch well, today when I wake up, I go take a closer look at start taking stuff out of envelopes and everything just to confirm everything for tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry, I dropped my phone. It's not in, I don't have my phone in the, uh, in the holder because the truck's idling and it's just going to vibrate. So anyway, uh, I pull out the master bill and start looking things over real closely. And I notice in there that it says stop one is Jacksonville and stop two is Orlando. And the seal number for stop one Jacksonville is the seal that's on the trailer. The seal that's in the envelope, they have underneath down in another paragraph where it shows Orlando as the second and final stop. And that's where that seal number is. That's all backwards from what I'm dispatched and where I'm headed. So, you know, I've messaged them, I messaged dispatch and let them know, hey, you know, there could be something really funky going on here because um, either A, they messed the bills up and misprinted it or something uh, and it's just on the paperwork and you know, I, the seal issue is not going to be that much of a problem because both seal numbers are on the master bill. So even though it's not the seal number that matches the first stop on the master bill or on the on that particular stop, 
Like we can show them the bills and be like, yeah, they just got it. They just got it backwards. That's happened before. It's not that big of a deal. Where I start getting concerned is, is there 20,000 pounds of freight for Jacksonville in front of all the freight for Orlando? And are those lumpers going to be willing to move all that freight out of the way, take their freight off, and then put all that freight back on? Because somebody's messed, somebody potentially is messed up here. Either Prime is messed up in the scheduling of these two stops, or Cargill's messed up in what they thought the two stops were supposed to be scheduled as, and the, the load is loaded backwards. So, I don't know. I haven't heard anything back from dispatch. We're headed to Orlando, and we're just going to haul it that way. Because, I, I mean, if we try to change appointments, here's the problem. I can't look in the trailer to see what's where because I can't break that seal. So, we don't even know. So, even if they switched it and said, okay, yeah, it looks like it's they probably meant for Jacksonville to be first. Even if they switch it, we went to Jacksonville, we don't know that it's not the other way around. So... It could be a problem either way. We don't know, and they can't get an answer from Cargill of which freight is loaded first and which freight's at the back of the trailer. So, I don't know. I'm half expecting tomorrow to be an absolute clusterfuck. That's what I'm expecting tomorrow to be. Um, but I want it to happen this way, because this is the way that I accepted the load. These were the terms that were proposed to me in load choice. Now, was it you go to Orlando, drop the first drop, then go to Jacksonville, North Jacksonville, and drop the second drop? That's what I agreed to because that is the easiest way to get the hell out of Florida. Because it'd be right there by the Georgia line. And so if this gets all messed up and gets reversed, or this this Orlando, the lumpers don't want to take 20,000 pounds of freight off and put it back on, we have to go to Jacksonville, get that appointment all messed up, then get the appointment rescheduled for a meat drop in Orlando. Then we're going to lose a day getting back to Orlando, and we're going to be stuck in Orlando having to take cheap freight out. So this could become a total clusterfuck. We shall see. That's true. <sighs> anyway, that's the first thing. The second thing is, I don't know, one of the coolest situations, I want to end this on a positive note. Uh, one of the coolest situations back on March 27th I'm gonna link to that video down below I did a video in Edwardsville Illinois um, talking about a subscriber who worked at the guard shack at Hershey in Edwardsville many are familiar with it so I dropped the load off in Hershey uh, at Hershey in Edwardsville and came back around to the guard shack and he had to come out and give me the bad news that the load was canceled he was a bearer of bad news but he also recognized me and was a subscriber his name is Billy Rhett uh, Rhett My Meyer oh, I can't remember his name oh my god actually no my other phone's dead can't remember his name Billy Billy if you can comment down below this video with your name I totally spaced the last name anyway Billy so he he, he, he says hey are you are you you're on YouTube right and I said yes and he's, he was like oh yeah I definitely I subscribe to you guys I watch you he said I'm I'm I put in my notice and I'm coming to prime and I mentioned him in that video on March 27th Lo and behold, and I had forgotten about it. Lo and behold, he messaged me <clears throat> like uh, two or three days ago. He messaged me and said, "Hey, man, I don't know if you remember me. I was I was a security guy at Hershey. Told you I was putting in my notice and that I uh, uh, I was going to be driving for Prime." He said, "I'm upgrading this week. He's gone through his entire training and he's upgrading at Prime this week. Tomorrow, in fact." So how cool is that, man? I even said in that video, you know, we run into subscribers all the time out here on the road, but rarely ever is it <clears throat> someone who doesn't drive a truck, you know? Um, and like we text message with people, we talk to people all the time virtually who are in another life planning and preparing to come to Prime 
but we don't meet those people until they're at prime you know with him it was a rare occasion where you meet somebody who is a subscriber to your channel and who's actively doing the job that they're doing before trucking for him it was being a security uh, officer or as you know working at the gate at Hershey at Edwardsville and so to be able to see him in that previous career meet him in that previous career and then now know him as a basically an upgraded AC prime driver he's gone through the whole adventure journey of TNT and uh, it's just really neat man it's really neat to be able to see these journeys from start to finish but uh, that was really cool so Billy thank you so much for texting me and telling me that that made my day man uh, I texted him last night and I said, man, I had to go watch that video again from March 27th. Just as a reminder, I, I remember that day very clearly because it, it was a good load to cancel. <laughs> and he had to tell me that. Uh, but anyway, it was really neat. So I just wanted to bring that up. You know, it's, it's interesting watching people's journeys from, from a previous career into uh, one of truck driving. So anyway, I'm going to eat some dinner here let jenna drive us through atlanta and macon and uh see if i can get another hour or two of sleep and then uh drive us on into orlando and see what kind of shit show we're dealing with tomorrow so just wanted to give you guys a quick sunday update be safe guys make good decisions and as always drive to thrive we'll talk to you soon